Hello, you all. You already know we about to get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? Somebody is committed to doing something. Somebody is committed to try to tr tame somebody in the dream state. With this seven of cups to this strength, somebody could be doing something very strong to try to tame somebody in the dream state. We got the eight of pentacles. This is what they've been working on. This is what they've been committed to, this magician shit. Trying to tame somebody in the dream state. Doing something, doing something strong. Definitely projecting. This person could be a Pisces, a Leo, or an Aries. It could be passionate, too. It's passion. Mm-hmm. Somebody been persistent in putting their talents to service here with the Knave of Pentacles. This is a woman. This is a woman. And this woman, this woman is a mother. I'm trying to tell you this person escapes and this is this part. Maybe this this is this is this person escape or something like that. This person need to walk away from doing that shit though. Eight of cups, that magician shit, honey. Walk away from putting them talents to service. Yep, leave. And, and nurture a new way of being. Yep, move forward. Move forward. Three of Wands. You need to turn your back and walk away from doing that magician work, honey. Let it go. Put it to rest. Stop being careless. Because projecting and having passion and doing whatever you was doing to somebody, your ass can get sick. Your ass going to end up getting sick. You're going to be in the hospital. Don't do it. 
especially if you want to move forward and have a legacy and, you know, a solid foundation. But you cannot, with this moon, you cannot have no hit and equal give and take or sharing in the spirit with this person. You cannot do that. Your partner either knows or they're going to catch you. Your partner going to catch you having this passion and in in, in sharing with whoever you've been doing something with in the spirit, your partner gonna catch you. You be tempted with that apple. You you definitely be tempted. You could get hurt violating this individual. That's all I'm going to tell you. You could have a Taurus moon, Libra moon, Sagittarius moon, or a Cancer moon. A Leo moon. But, um... It's not... It's not... I'm not getting anything like evil. I'm not getting anything like evil that you're trying to do. Like I said, it's passion. The strength is out here twice. But it's still a violation. Even if it's romance. You can't do that. You will get sick messing with this person's energy. This is something that's hidden. Yeah, you, you would get karma for being sneaky. Trying to sneak sex. <laughs> you can't do that. Trying to sneak and have sex with this person. You would be at a dead end. That's betrayal to keep trying to partner up with this person. And your partner may even want to leave you if they catch you. Um, or you may be doing this because you want to leave your partner. I don't know. But, um...
You can't do that. This makes you happy collaborating with this person or it'll make you happy collaborating with this person, but you can't, you can't just, Be sexing them up in the spirit. You can't do that. You can't be on top of this person having success with them. And collaborating with them in the spirit. You can get stuck too. <laughs> you can get stuck doing that shit too. And you've been persistent in putting your talents to service with this Ace of Cups. And that's why your ass might end up getting sick because they are, they awaken to what you're doing and also they're spiritual. You can't do that. Your ass can get stuck. You can get stuck or you can get sick. The lights went out because your ass be doing this shit at night. <laughs> Anything else? And then, with this two of cups, with you partnering up with this person in this way, this this is another woman, by the way. With you partnering up with this person, you're causing conflict within them. You could be a high priestess. They could be a high priestess too. 
you're, you're causing conflict. You're, you're causing conflict within them about who they may even like want to partner with. You're messing with you're messing with them. That's just, is this person, is this person bisexual? Is this person a lesbian? See, this person ain't, um, this person ain't bisexual or a lesbian. So by you astral projecting to them and, and messing with them and fondling with them and riding them and doing all of this stuff in the dream state you're messing with them you're causing conflict Because if this person hasn't thought about hooking up with no woman and being partnered with no woman, and then here you come, and this is going on, that, that can cause conflict. So you just can't do that. You could be doing this to a fellow Pisces, a fellow Leo, a fellow Aries, a Sag, or a Cancer, or a Scorpio. But just be mindful because you can get sick or you can get stuck. And then you're causing conflict and confusion to this person. They know they, they now don't get me wrong. Whoever this is, they can tame and control it. But it is causing manipulation a little bit from who they want to commit to and shit. So, even if they question it, they know how to tame and control it, but you're still causing confusion, though.
whether they can tame it, can, uh, can tame it or control it or whatever. It's like, what if they could? You have somebody thinking, uh, they bisexual or lesbian or something like that. The way you care, you know, you can't do that. So we have here, Yahweh's love and kindness will shine upon us like the sun that rises in the sky. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yahweh is our refuge and strength and the ever-present help in trouble. Yahweh watches over all who love him. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Yahweh, make me dwell in safety. O my Yahweh, I will give you thanks forever. Gratitude is born in the heart. They take the time up to count up past mercies. They are charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. I am overwhelmed with joy in my Yahweh, for he has dressed me with the clothing of salvation and draped me in a robe of righteousness. We are so often caught up in our destination that we forget to appreciate the journey, especially the goodness of the people we meet along the way. Appreciation is a wonderful feeling. Don't overlook it. Memory keeps gratitude fresh and gratitude keeps faith fruitful. Yahweh is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Let us come to Yahweh with thanksgiving and let us sing songs of praise to him. Happy is the person who not only sings, but feels Yahweh's eye is on the sparrow and knows he watches over me. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Yahweh, have not forsaken those who seek you. I will sing to Yahweh, for he has been good to me. So I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.